The purpose of this demonstration will be to review inventory adjustments in Odoo and how you can import and export data into and out of the system in order to execute adjustments and, uh, and have it be impact on stock levels. So first thing to look at is go to our inventory app. When we're here, first place we're going to want to check out are inventory adjustments. Once here, we can see a list of all of our uh, adjustments, the history of them. You can see the date they occurred, the time, all the way down to the second as well as the status of each adjustment. Here you can have different views. We can group by month, for instance, and see everything that's occurred in November. So how do we actually create an inventory adjustment? Simple, go to create. Up here, you'll name your adjustment. We can do November um, extra adjustment. We can specify here all products, one product category, one product only, as well as a bunch of other options. We'll select one product only and we'll specify the, uh, the inventory product we're gonna make an adjustment to. Here you'll see the date is also captured as well as the time and second and the status up here is stored. Next step will be to actually, when we're ready, go in and start the inventory adjustment. Here we'll see that we're doing an inventory of one product, the inventory date, the inventory product, and we'll see the product here that we're gonna adjust the theoretical quantity versus the real quantity and the usage. So the usage is a simple mathematical equation where we subtract uh, what we had in stock versus what we uh, are currently updating as what we uh, what we have in stock is a real quantity. We'll see here when I edit this and I may change my real quantity, let's say two, we'll see the usage go to three as in the system understands that you have removed three and we've used them. This is a custom field in Odoo that I've created with Odoo Studio. Um, so you can control other you know, if you want the logic of the system to be changed at all, that's certainly something we can discuss. So very simple here. All of these fields that you see are able to be imported. So you can create these records via an Excel doc. These records exist as a shell. All of these fields will be empty. You will map the data from your Excel doc into these fields, import them, and you'll be sitting here with a draft uh, inventory adjustment. And once you're ready to, of course, execute on it, you open it, you uh, start it, validate the inventory and when we validate it it will change our real quantity for the uh, Apple in-ear headphones to two on hand and just like that the inventory adjustments have been made we can also uh, go back we'll see that it's uh, inventory extra adjustment is validated it's done if we go to our reporting inventory we can look at it today or we can look at it as a date in the past we'll look at it right now and we'll pull up those in here headphones and we'll see the quantity on hand is two. You can open them up. We have exactly the information that we need there. You can also see it through here. If we look at all of our product catalog, we can see uh, quantity on hand equals two. So that is how that is done. If you look at operations, inventory adjustments, you'll see here everything can be imported any of these adjustments, as well as obviously all of the corresponding fields within each adjustment. Um, and you can also select particular records that you want to action export. Here you'll have a pre-configured list of fields which you can select as to export into a Excel record, which you can export to the file via either CSV or Excel, save those fields list as templates in the system as to uh, ensure you don't waste too much time having to configure them each time you wanna pull data out of Odoo and into Excel. So um, in a nutshell, that is how uh, you'll be able to accomplish the task that you're looking for. Please let me know if you have any additional questions or if I didn't cover everything that you're interested in. I'll be happy to, uh, to schedule a follow-up and, and drill a bit deeper next time. Awesome. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good rest of the day.